Deeks, Deeks, Hines and Cook formed the Toronto Construction Company to build a railway line for the Canadian Pacific Railway Company. Each of them became directors, and it seems the firm did a good job of building the railway. During the construction process, Deeks, Deeks and Hines fell out with Cook. We don't get told the details, but the Privy Council had some sympathy for Deeks, Deeks and Hines and regarded Cook as not having been an effective business partner. As the project was concluding, Deeks, Deeks and Hines began negotiating with the Canadian Pacific Railway Company for a new contract. They did this surreptitiously, not telling Cook about the new project and never intending for him to participate. Meanwhile, as managers of the Toronto Construction Company, they pressed their staff to work hard to complete the first project so they could get on with the second. Their reputation, which secured the new contract, was really based on their previous work, so the new contract was linked with their roles in the Toronto Construction Company. Cook found out about the new contract and argued that the three directors had really negotiated that new work in their capacity as directors of the Toronto Construction Company, using the assets and reputation of that company to secure the new work. Cook argued that this amounted to the other three directors seeking a personal benefit arising from their position as directors. The Privy Council agreed with Lord Buckmaster saying, men who assume the complete control of a company's business must remember that they are not at liberty to sacrifice the interests which they are bound to protect and while ostensibly acting for the company, divert in their own favour business which should properly belong to the company they represent. If the contract in question was entered into under such circumstances that the directors could not retain the benefit of it for themselves, then it belonged in equity to the company and ought to have been dealt with as an asset of the company. The court found that the three directors were constructive trustees of the new contract, the benefit of which belonged to the Toronto Construction Company and had to be shared with Cook. From this case, we learn that directors must not obtain a personal benefit from that position. If they do, the benefit belongs to the company and not to the director. Mm -hmm.